Okay, does it feel like, does it feel like your house is just getting too small for you? I recently had a few different situations, one where a client is buying a bigger house because their house is just too small. They initially bought a condo, now it's time to upgrade. They had a couple babies. And then I have another client that they're just looking to get a bigger house because the place just feels like it's getting too small. So the, let's just talk about the benefits of upgrading your property. Now, both of the properties in this case have a 4% interest rate. <laughs> just remember, the average interest rate for the last 50 years was just under 8% and the average interest rate for the last 30 years was just under 6%. So we just saw a really low 3%, right? So you could rent that property out. Why would you get a bigger house? Well, number one is appreciation. Bigger properties, you know, my bigger pieces of real estate, meaning more square footage, just a bigger house, usually appreciate more in value over time. So you'll get that money back in just the appreciation because technically they should appreciate at a faster pace. Number two would be enjoyment. I mean, hey, if you need a bigger house to enjoy a bigger house, then just go for it, right? Because you can't get these years back. Number three would be the tax saving. Depending on where you live, right, there's obviously tax advantages with a larger property. You have uh, mortgage deductions, right? You have interest, mortgage interest, and property taxes as well, right? So you can always think of it that way as well. Future selling potential. By investing in a larger property, you could potentially sell it for a higher price in the future, right? So even if you have a 4% mortgage on a $400,000 property, then you get a 7% mortgage on a million dollar property. Well, that million dollar property in essence could end up being worth much more than the $400,000 property. And number five would be just family comfort. A bigger house can provide more comfort more bathrooms, bedrooms, more parties for you to invite people to come and enjoy your place. And I think that if it is time for you to get a bigger house, give me a call. We can run the numbers, figure out what it's going to take for you to make that move. And if it's not time, then just stay put. But if you were thinking about getting yourself a bigger house, because the house that you're in is just getting a little bit too small, well, maybe it's time we go and have a conversation. Anyway, I hope this helps you decide whether it is time or it is not time. But overall, if you get a bigger house, the interest rates, you can all, always use the equity of your previous house to go ahead and put down that money towards the new property. And you can kind of make the numbers work. Of course, the interest rates, I mean, might not see the fours and the threes for a while. I mean, I haven't seen them in my lifetime and a lot of people haven't seen them in their 25 or 30 year careers. So I just think just keep keep mindful of that. The average interest rate for the last 30 years was just under 6%. And uh, if they ever drop, you can always refinance in the future. Good luck.